With the world we live in today, it's almost difficult to imagine a time in which beloved TV shows and movies from years gone by weren't being rebooted into shiny new 21st century updates. And yet, there are still some shows that haven't been given the reboot treatment that we would actually love to see. Check out the rest of the video for all the Nickelodeon shows that absolutely should be rebooted. We're not always on board with rebooting classic movies and TV, but when it's done right, it's so good. We're thinking of the awesome 2000s Charlie's Angels movies that breathed new life into the franchise. The Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy, Mad Max Fury Road, which is arguably one of the best films of the entire series, and the live-action quote-unquote Jungle Book movie that, while it didn't have the same whimsy as the Disney original, proved just how incredible brand new CGI technology could be. Disney is all over bringing their old favorites back to life these days, what with Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella that have already hit theaters, and The Little Mermaid and Mulan on their way back to the big screen. While it's difficult to strike gold twice with the same story, it isn't impossible. The key seems to be paying enough homage to the original to remind us just why we loved it in the first place without trying to recreate it frame for frame. If done for the right reasons, reboots can bring our old favorites back to life and introduce an entirely new generation to some of our most iconic characters. And while we could go on about what shows and movies we would like to see brought back from beyond the grave, we think that one network in particular is sitting on a gold mine of material, and it's just waiting to be resurrected. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon has given us some of the most iconic TV shows ever made, and made the careers of some of the best cartoon animators of all time. They were massively popular in the late 1990s and early 2000s, and remain one of the biggest providers of kids' entertainment to this day. While some Nick shows like SpongeBob seem like they're going to live forever, others have gotten cut off long before their time for one reason or another. But that doesn't always mean that the show was bad. In fact, far from it. Most of them were seriously great, but maybe a little bit before their time. Which is why we think that some of these Nickelodeon shows would be absolutely perfect for a 21st century reboot. One of the first shows that we would love to see brought back to life is the short-lived cartoon series Sanjay and Craig. The show, which followed a 12-year-old boy named Sanjay Patel and his best friend Craig, aired for three seasons between 2013 and 2016 before being cancelled by the network. Oh yeah, and did we mention that Craig was actually a talking snake? A beat so nice, girl! Quit bluffing! Chuck a check it out! This is my air muffin! <laughs> The problem was never that Sanji and Craig wasn't a good show. It lay more with the studio's expectations for how it should perform. You see, Nickelodeon had such a giant hit with SpongeBob SquarePants that they started expecting that all of their shows needed the same gigantic diehard audience. And of course, that just doesn't happen very often. In their attempts to make the biggest and splashiest hits they possibly could, they wound up pulling the plug on lots of great shows. While Sanja and Craig was definitely a kid's show with a sometimes juvenile sense of humor, it was also very smart and didn't shy away from grown-up topics. It was also full of some pretty crude gross-out humor, which, when done right, can actually be awesome. While some weren't fans of the gross nature of the show, others loved it, and we think it would be the perfect time to bring Sanjay and Craig back. Whether it would be a cartoon in the same animation style or possibly a live-action movie with a CGI update for Craig, we think audiences of today would be more than ready to reunite with this pair of best friends. With shows like Big Mouth and Bob's Burgers out there gaining huge followings, Sanjay and Craig would fit right in. And now that streaming has taken over traditional television, the creators would have a lot more freedom to create the kind of show that they wanted to, without any interference from the network. Sometimes a TV show comes along that seems like it might just be too perfect for this world. The Angry Beavers is one of those shows. The show aired from 1997 to 2001, and is widely regarded as one of the most creative, funny, and imaginative TV cartoons ever. It revolved around two beaver brothers, Daggett and Norbert, who recently made the move out of their parents' home and start living the bachelor life in a fictional town in Oregon. Wednesday! That's funny. Mine say October! With Norbert acting as the straight man to Daggett's often unhinged antics, the pair got up to all sorts of amazing adventures that fans went crazy for. Which is why both the fans and the creators alike were pretty devastated when word came from Nickelodeon that they were pulling the plug on the series. The creators were so upset by the news that they wrote a finale that would go down in history, even if it never aired. 
The episode Bye Bye Beaver was a very meta exploration of Daggett and Norbert finding out that they were getting cancelled, literally, which in this case meant that they were going to cease to exist. Well, Nickelodeon wasn't very happy when they read the script, not only because it broke their rule about characters acknowledging that they were on a TV show, but also because they were pretty critical over Nick's tendency to air reruns. So as a response, they chose not to air the episode, and the series ended without a proper finale, which is exactly why we think it should make a modern comeback, possibly on a streaming platform like Netflix where Angry Beavers can truly let its freak flag fly. Another Nickelodeon classic that we miss seeing every week on our TVs is without a doubt The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Once again, this show was super popular with both audiences and critics alike, and yet it only lasted three seasons. Of course, it all started with the Jimmy Neutron movie that the show then spun off from, but still, it was also so much more than just a regular cartoon. Jimmy Neutron was one of the earliest TV cartoons to be produced in computer-generated 3D animation. While these types of shows might be the norm these days, back in 2001 when the movie came out, it was still pretty exciting. The show was an instant hit, following fifth grade genius Jimmy Neutron as he develops new inventions to solve any problem that might come his way. I may be small, but I've got a big brain! The show had an awesome retro vibe, while being on the cutting edge of animation technology at the time, and that's why we think it would be another great show to reboot today. There is so much potential with Jimmy Neutron that could be explored, seeing as how technology and CGI has advanced so far in the last decade. Imagine a Jimmy Neutron now with that same retro style, but done in the incredible graphics of The Lion King or The Jungle Book. They could even mix real actors with CG like they've done before to really bring the show to life. Or what about instead of just starting where the show left off, we see a more grown-up Jimmy Neutron navigating the world of high school, college, or his career as a scientist and inventor. We could definitely see someone like Ben Platt stepping into the boy genius's shoes in a brand new adaptation. And we think it would be awesome to see just how a grown-up Jimmy Neutron might be impacting the world we live in today. Of course, they did try to spin off Jimmy Neutron already with the not-so-successful Planet Sheen, which was a pretty big disappointment to lots of fans who were expecting the same kind of magic that Jimmy had created before. But this new reboot could be the perfect way to redeem the series from that and get Jimmy Neutron back to the show we fell in love with as kids. There's possibly no cartoon better suited for a 2020 reboot than Ren and Stimpy. And while we know that it was near perfect the first time around, the audience of fans who watched the show when they were kids are the perfect age to appreciate it again now. Ren and Stimpy was always ahead of its time, and it was always held back by the kids' TV network that it was tied to. One of the weirdest, wildest TV cartoons ever made, Ren and Stimpy followed the completely manic chihuahua Ren and his more simple cat sidekick Stimpy, and aired alongside Rugrats and Doug. The show was a hit with kids, but was also chock full of jokes that made it an immediate cult hit with teens and grown-ups everywhere. Even though it was super popular, it was never without controversy, as not only was it filled with a ton of grown-up innuendo and off-color humor, it was super violent. So much so that the show's creators were always at odds with the Nickelodeon TV censors and a ton of different parent groups who didn't approve of the show. That didn't stop them from continuing to push buttons, though, as the show just got more and more popular. Even so, all of these controversies eventually led to the show's creator being fired, and Ren and Stimpy was never the same. But I need love, too! Which is why there's no better time and place to bring back Ren and Stimpy than right now, and on a streaming platform like Netflix. With a bigger budget and as much creative freedom as they could possibly want, now would be the chance for the creators of the show to make the cartoon they always wanted to. And hey, you might think that we're forgetting that they already did try and reboot Ren and Stimpy with a Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon, and that didn't go quite as well as anybody had hoped. But that was all the way back in 2004, and it was on Spike TV. Ren and Stimpy was always at its best when it was still aimed towards younger audiences, while still maintaining the edge that we fell in love with in the first place. By putting it on the dude-oriented Spike, it lost some of that original whimsy. We think that given the freedom of Netflix and having learned from the adult party cartoon mistakes of the past, a brand new set of Ren and Stimpy cartoons would be just what the doctor ordered. While Drake and Josh has been off the air since 2007, the rumors of a reboot have floated around ever since the finale aired. Both Drake and Josh have said that they are working together again as late as 2019, but they were careful not to call their new project a reboot. But why not? A Drake and Josh reboot could be totally awesome. The original show is all about two completely different stepbrothers who are forced to live together and learn to get along. And with other popular sitcoms like Will and Grace getting a second chance at life, we would be super into watching a new version of Drake and Josh. 
Sure, there was a rumor going around for a while that the two actors weren't friends anymore, but they have long since quashed that and gone on record to say that they love working together. Since they were only in their high school years at the time of the show, it would be so fun to see a situation in which this unlikely pair were forced to cohabitate again now that they're in their late 20s and early 30s. It could also touch on some real millennial issues, like maybe they have to live together because of their crushing student debt, or the fact that they'll probably never be able to buy a house. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, so maybe that scenario makes us feel like our stomachs are about to fall out, but hey, it's the truth for millions of people their age out there. And it worked for two broke girls. Watching these two and their hilarious chemistry trying to navigate the pitfalls and triumphs of this exact moment in time could be an awesome way to bring back Drake and Josh for those of us who grew up watching them as teens. We would love to find out how Drake's music career turned out, and whether or not Josh wound up going to university to become an English professor or something similar. Oh yeah, and it would have to bring back Miranda Cosgrove. Drake and Josh would just not be the same without her, even this brand new reboot. Look, I know how bad you must feel right now, but tomorrow morning, I guarantee you'll feel much worse. We just can't talk about Nickelodeon shows that we love so much that we wish they would make a comeback without mentioning Hey Arnold. Before you say that they already brought back the show with the 2017 movie Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie, we're talking about a TV reboot and not a one-off movie. Hey Arnold is definitely one of the best beloved shows that Nickelodeon has ever produced, and it ran for a hundred episodes and a couple of movie spin-offs. It was such a sweet, well-made show, and fans were immediately taken with its big-headed protagonist and his unibrowed on-again off again crush. It was an amazing show because unlike some TV programming made for kids, it totally refused to talk down to its young audience, and told stories that were really human and touching. It's also one of the only shows to portray the life of a kid growing up in a big city rather than a suburb or a quiet little town. There's something you should know, Harold. What? I'm crazy. While the Jungle movie finally answered the question of where Arnold's parents had been, we think the final moments of the movie might be the perfect place to pick back up for another season of TV, as there are still plenty of loose ends to tie up. Now with his parents back in his life and his relationship with Helga moved on to another level, it would be interesting to watch Arnold as he continued to move up through sixth grade and into high school. If we ever needed a show back on the air like we do now, it is definitely Hey Arnold. The show Doug has had its own complicated reboot history already. When it first aired on Nickelodeon from 1991 to 1994, it was beloved by fans, parents, and critics. But then in 1996, Doug was bought by another children's TV giant that goes by the name of Disney, and the reactions were different. Fans complained about every change that Disney made to the character that they had grown to love from the number of strands of hair on his head to the new theme song, to all the other changes that they made to other characters' designs and the world around them. Not only that, but the original Nickelodeon series had a satisfying definitive ending. After that, the Disney revamp felt pointless and confusing, which is exactly the reason why we think Doug deserves to get a chance to redeem itself with a new reboot. Okay, we get that the idea of rebooting a show that was already rebooted might not sound like a foolproof plan, but hear us out. What if Doug just pretended that the whole Disney fiasco never happened, and picked back up with the original theme music and appropriate number of hair strands once again? We miss Doug and the rest of the gang, and we want to see them back together. But now that it's been almost 30 years since the series started airing, they could also go a totally different way and make it live action. There's a whole crop of amazing child actors out there right now, and personally, we think that Jaden Martell from the IT movies would be the perfect person to bring the iconic role to life. But what about Skeeter and Roger, you might ask? Two characters with different shades of bright green skin. Well, we live in a world in which literally anything is made possible using CGI and makeup. So why not have two green characters walking around in real life? That sounds awesome. If they can de-age a bunch of 70-year-old men to 30-year-olds for the Irishman, they could definitely bring Skeeter and Roger to life. One more show that we have wanted to see back on the air ever since it disappeared is Victorious. Also known as the show that launched Ariana Grande's career, Victorious was a massive hit on the network, and the mix of music and comedy was the perfect recipe for an awesome Nick show. Weirdly, it only ran for two seasons. It was picked up for a third. But even though they completed filming, Nickelodeon canceled it altogether, leaving the fans and creators high and dry without a proper finale. 
Everyone was completely confused as to why it was dropped so quickly after season two was a pretty big hit. Some went on to blame Ariana Grande for working on the spin-off Sam and Cat, and others thought it was Victoria Justice's fault for going on a solo tour. Whatever the reason, we would love to see Victorious come back, especially now that Grande is one of the biggest stars in the world. The rebooted series could center around the cast and how much their lives have changed in the years since the show stopped airing. Grande's fame could even be a part of it, in that she is now the most successful graduate of the Hollywood Arts High School. It would be fun to catch up with all the characters, now living their lives as adults and still trying to make it in show business. And if Grande came back, we have no doubt that they would be able to rake in a seriously massive audience. And there you have it, all the Nickelodeon shows that we seriously wish could be rebooted so that we can hang out with our oldest friends once again. What about you? Do you think any of these classics deserve a reboot, or are you anti-reboot all around? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the latest from The Binger. We'll see you next time.